Going to the dentist doesn't have to be scary. For kids like Danny, dental IV sedation may be a dream come true. After undergoing extensive quality dental work, Danny awoke from IV sedation anesthesia, remembering only the slight pinch of a needle in the dentist's waiting room and his mom's promise they would swing by the toy store on their way home. He remembered nothing of the actual procedure. He wasn't in pain, he, he was fine. We came home and played the rest of the day. It was nothing. But for Danny, like many other children who may be naturally fearful or simply unable to sit still, that first encounter with a dentist can turn into a nightmare. The first time the dentist we had did not suggest anesthesia and it was terrifying for Danny. He was screaming because he didn't want the procedure to take place. He was screaming because they were holding him down, which made it worse, because he felt totally out of control. Um, and he screamed to the point of puking. He vomited because he was so upset. It was a horrible, a horrible experience. And I knew that if ever he'd need dental work or anything done, we would never be able to do it the same way. Fortunately, Danny's mom discovered there was another way to do dentistry without the fear using IV sedation. To go the anesthesia route would be quick and painless. He wouldn't know what was happening. Um, we'd go in, he'd get a shot, he'd be sleeping, they'd do the procedure. It wouldn't be dangerous. He'd get the work done quickly and he'd wake up and it'd be done, over, finished, which is exactly what happened. It was very easy. With over 30 years of in-hospital practice using IV sedation, pediatric dentist Dr. Gerald Kirschbaum knows that if a child's dental experience is not both pain and trauma-free, there can be a price to pay later on. I think uh, they claim that maybe 20 or 30 percent of adults don't go to a dentist because of fear. And whether they've been traumatized as a child or heard about it, uh, it's kind of sad because many of these people end up losing all their teeth eventually. So uh, it's something that uh, can be avoided with IV or IM sedation because uh, these kids uh, forget the experience and they've never been traumatized. With the advent of new medical technology, dentists using IV sedation can work outside a hospital setting performing anesthesia dentistry in the comfort of a regular dental office. In these friendlier surroundings, a child's treatment begins when the dentist and anesthesiologist greet them in the waiting room. Hello there. I'm Dr. Cass, the anesthesiologist. Nice to meet you. Hi. What's your name? Jocelyn. Nice to meet you, Jocelyn. You know why you're here? No, you're here to get your teeth fixed. <laughs> and my job is to make sure that you don't have any pain or any bad memories of this, okay? So the way we're going to do it is you're going to be holding her I'll be facing you between your legs and I'll give her a little shot in the butt and within a minute she'll be asleep. Okay, straight back. Unlike dentists who use slow-acting pills to calm a patient, IV sedation is true medical anesthesia. It is quick, it is safe, dosages are precisely controlled, and it is administered by a board-certified anesthesiologist who monitors the patient every step of the way. Well, the anesthesiologist plays a very important role because uh, I couldn't do this by myself, nor would I want to. While I'm doing the dentistry, I want somebody to, to monitor the vital signs of the patient and make sure uh, everything's going smoothly. It's much safer uh, when a second person is involved uh, watching the child while the other one is doing the dental procedures. She's been seen previously at uh, several other dentists that really haven't been able to adequately uh, take care of the, of the dental caries on her permanent molars. By the time this little girl came to a dentist who used sedation, she needed nine cavities filled and an abscessed tooth removed. Without sedation, impossible. But using anesthesia, years of incomplete or neglected work was finished in one visit. And best of all, it was done under optimal conditions for both doctor 
and patient. No, she shouldn't need any pain medication. Okay. And uh, you know, the very deepest one uh, where we had to take out the tooth that was infected, we gave her some Novocaine around that. So that's going to keep her numb for a while. We did some white uh, fillings in front where she had some cavities. So she's completely done. She had her teeth cleaned. And then in six months, you want to bring her back just for a regular checkup, and uh, she should be doing fine. Okay, great. And uh, she won't remember any of this and <laughs> shouldn't have any pain. And uh, it's sort of an easy way to go, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.